Today's apps continue to add more and more complexity and incorporate new frameworks and protocols. With this, we need to be able to test whatever technologies are being used and do so without compromising the ability to deliver at a fast pace. Neotis has a proven track record of delivering support on these newer technologies, like the first on the market to support HTTP2 and WebSockets. Neoload is a performance engineering platform that makes it fast and easy to design, run, and extract insights from load tests. It accelerates the performance engineering process along QA, dev, and ops by improving how you reuse and share test assets across teams. You can see the results of a performance test in real time and identify issues early. Neoload can also perform mobile and API performance testing too, and you can either use on-prem or cloud load injectors in seconds. All these things streamline your performance engineering practice and optimize the collaboration between those who test and fix performance bottlenecks to speed up your software delivery process. We've designed our software to fit load testing into tight agile and DevOps cycles and seamlessly integrate into your tool chain. At Neotis, we focus specifically on load testing, which is why we're able to provide the best available solution on the market. With Neoload, you have access to integrations with leading DevOps, test, and APM solutions right off the shelf. We provide Docker images for containerized load generators. We tie into functional tools like Selenium, Ranarex, Perfecto, and Appium to help reuse assets developed by other people. This enables you to quickly create Neoload tests and use the same assets to gather data about the user experience too. In terms of application performance monitoring, we tie into solutions like AppDynamics and New Relic to help you collect deep metrics on app components and servers, an essential layer to pinpointing performance issues. Combining this with performance results from Neoload helps you accelerate root cause analysis in highly complex apps. Neoload also provides a rich set of APIs so that teams can use whatever approach they want to drive script creation, maintenance, load test execution, and reporting. This is particularly useful in continuous integration and allows you to exchange and share data between platforms in your own tool chain and correlate other data to performance tests. Through our success with customers, We've seen that speed and quality are achieved in parallel through testing continuously. We've designed Neoload to empower you to test early and often, locally on your workstation, as part of a build verification, during integration, and in test and staging environments. This enables you to identify and resolve issues earlier, dramatically reducing the time and opportunity cost. And we've seen this, less unplanned rework means more time for new and impactful work. Neoload works in continuous integration through free plugins for leading CI platforms like Jenkins, TeamCity, and others. You can watch Neoload run in real time via web browsers, receiving alerts during and after the test from your favorite chat ops platforms. So let's see how this really works. We're gonna use a web app that allows us to enter weather events from around the world the story behind that app is that the product is delivered by an Agile team with two-week release cycles. They're about to push a new release that adds functionality to uploading pictures when reporting alerts. Naturally, there's a concern that this is going to increase the user transaction time to post and could even overload the server. This team also uses Jenkins Pipeline and wants to know about performance issues as part of their automated delivery process. For this demonstration, we'll be using a few key technologies. First, Jenkins to orchestrate the build. We'll also use Docker to deploy the containers, a few other tools like Sonar, and of course, Neoload to ensure that our app will perform amazingly. Let's start with the target app. Let's see what we'll be testing. What we see here is that there's an alert about a snowstorm in Quebec. In the first build of the app, we only accepted text-based alerts but now we have a newer version that includes functionality to upload a picture. So this means we also updated our functional Selenium tests and our performance tests need to do the same. In Neoload, we call these kinds of workflows through our app user paths. And this one also needs to be changed to reflect our new functionality. In other load testing tools, updating scripts is an onerous and time consuming process. Not so with Neoload. 
But before we get into that, let's see how we build the application using Jenkins. For the sake of visually following the automated build and deploy process, we're going to use Blue Ocean. It's just another way to view Jenkins where we can see each build from a pipeline perspective. This Jenkins pipeline was developed to build the application and kick off testing before it's deployed to production. The pipeline is composed of various steps. First, Jenkins retrieves the application code from our Git code repository. Next, Jenkins calls Maven to build the source code. Then we use a code analysis tool, Sonar, to validate that the structure of the code meets our standards. We then deploy the application in three different environments using Docker. These deployment steps are a lot easier because of containers. And for automated testing, we also deploy the NeoLoad Docker load generators in containers as well. Next, Jenkins launches testing tools to validate that our backend microservices are functioning properly. Then, Jenkins kicks off end user experience analysis with YSLOW and functional tests with Selenium. Finally, our pipeline launches end to end performance tests using NeoLoad. Once everything passes, the application is released into our AWS production environment. Let's switch over to NeoLoad for a few moments to see how easy it is to update our load tests to include that new photo upload functionality. Here we see the NeoLoad project that's being used by that Jenkins pipeline from before, which I recently downloaded from the Neotis team server. The Neotis team server allows us to store NeoLoad projects where various team members can check out and check in contributions. This also works with Git so you can manage your load test artifacts right alongside all your other code. What we're seeing in this user path is the flow of adding a weather alert report by going to the home page, then to post, and then to submit, and then going back to the overall map. Now we have the same flow in a Selenium script, which has been provided by our QA resources as part of the overall release. The Selenium script was delivered as a jar file. And we can just execute that jar file to update the NeoLoad user path for the new functionality of adding pictures to those alerts. How this works is by running Selenium jar in design mode, which tells NeoLoad to update our user path dynamically through our innovative sync engine. All we have to do is run the bat file, and this will record a new NeoLoad scenario. NeoLoad automatically detects that there's an existing version of the user path in the project file. NeoLoad will archive the old version and create a new user path based on that old version, including any work that was done to handle dynamic data or special variables automatically. This is a huge time saver. As Selenium automatically walks through our workflow, WebDriver is sending changes to NeoLoad in the background, and we'll get the same easy to understand post-recording wizard to help us optimize our new recording. As a result, we've got a previous version named post old and the new version of post, which now contains all the work that was done in the original and the new stuff that was injected by running the Selenium script. The reason we're updating this specific user path is because when a natural disaster happens, it's very likely we're going to see a spike in traffic in users submitting reports at all at the same time. We need to know that they won't have any performance issues during that process. This is our business critical scenario. And so you can start to see that, for instance, our new requests in the submit transaction are coming through. Here's that new post to upload the picture. And after that, we have a post we had from the original with all the data that was manipulated moved down to the new post. This was done automatically by NeoLoad. We can now push this new scenario back into Neotis team server to be used with Jenkins pipeline for building and testing. So let's publish this scenario. And during this process, we can see what data we're publishing to the NeoLoad test server from this new scenario. Now that the Neotis team server has been updated, I can launch Jenkins and it will utilize those new artifacts we just published. What we see is that Jenkins is retrieving code from the Git repository. Then it's building source code in Maven. It's kicking off Sonar to validate that the structure of the code meets our standards. 
and now it's deploying the application to those environments that we need them to be ready for in order to run tests. It's now deploying test tools with, for instance, Docker for the automated testing that will need to be done on the build. It launches test tools to validate that all those microservices are functioning properly. It's kind of like a smoke test before we get to the larger load test. Now it's launching the test phase that kicks off the end user experience to get those metrics from Wiselow and more functional tests using Selenium, that same script we saw earlier. Now we see the final stage is launching NeoLoad to do a system-wide load test, utilizing that new data that we pushed up to the NeoLoad test server. Finally, Jenkins deploys this out to our AWS production environment. So if we drill in a bit further to the details of that build, we can see from this view that NeoLoad graphs have been pushed to Jenkins. These graphs are displaying trends from build to build based on SLA results from NeoLoad. If we open the latest build, we're able to see that NeoLoad has pushed a summary report to Jenkins. We can check the SLA results directly from Jenkins and look at each response to see how it performed against the thresholds that we set. Now let's take a look at NeoLoad Web, our dashboard for performance test monitoring. Here we can see current load tests that are being run, tagged with our build number, which indicates that this is coming from our CI pipeline. Real-time data can be pushed to this dashboard from both continuous integration testing and from ad hoc manual load tests by NeoLoad for the desktop. We can also start graphing data in the dashboards view as the test is running. Here we can take the response time from a post where I want to graph average duration of the test that's running but also, as this is where the power of these dashboards come through, from a prior baseline. To do this, we'll select another test and graph the same data onto the new graph from the live test. With access to the full spectrum of data collected by NeoLoad, we're able to see differences in the build that's running compared to the last build and quickly verify if there's a degradation or improvement of performance. This unique way of looking at real-time results gives the team the fast feedback they need on the performance of their latest changes. As we're working with NeoLoad Web, we can publish our dashboards for the rest of the team to see too. Changes we make to our shared dashboards will automatically be reflected in their view in real time. They can copy a dashboard and add in metrics relevant to their perspective to help with troubleshooting, fault isolation, and root cause analysis, all in a matter of minutes after the load test begins. So now we've seen how a team can actually achieve continuous performance testing and, more importantly, how NeoLoad plays a vital part in that process. With performance validation at every stage of the lifecycle, you get faster performing applications. Reusing automation assets like Selenium scripts makes design and execution quicker so you can actually realize a faster time to market for new features. And sharing results and user paths means that everybody is in the loop and speaking the same language when it comes to the performance of your app. Automation is a key enabler in continuous delivery. With NeoLoad, you can fully automate each step when integrating performance into your quality and risk management strategy. NeoLoad also has many other easy to learn and use capabilities to speed development, maintenance, and delivery of the world's best apps.